Hi, what's up YouTube? Um, just thought I'd show you um, what I did um, to modify my Arcade 1UP cabinet um, on a budget. So as you can see, I have a new um, console artwork that I got off um, buildassign.com and that sticker was about 12 bucks. Um, you can custom make any image you want. Um, so I went ahead and made a uh, Marvel Super Heroes uh, console decal. I think it was like 12 bucks. Um, pretty cheap, and the overall looked the overall look looks pretty amazing to me. Um, I like it a lot. And then for the side artwork, I did a poster and like five bucks uh, at Walmart, and I used. Um, to stick it to the side of the cabinet, I used um, the stuff called Mod Podge. And you just put a thin layer on there, and then uh, go ahead and stick it to wherever you want to stick it. And then uh, I trimmed it before I stuck it to it, so that way I could move it around. Because you only get a couple seconds before it really sticks to the Mod Podge, so you gotta be quick. So just put down the layer of Mod Podge on there, and then uh, go ahead and throw the artwork on there. Um, if you use too much Mod Podge, it will wrinkle and bubble, but uh, you can work it out. Um, if you have like a squeegee or something, you can work them wrinkles out. Um, or use a hair dryer too. Um, I did a lot of research on it because I wanted it to turn out really good. And uh, I think it did. So um, before I go any further, I'd like to give a big shout out to uh, ETA Prime for uh, Showing me how to uh, get everything going here. Um, as you can see, I got a uh, subwoofer in there. I got uh, I got it running a uh, Raspberry Pi 3 B plus. Um, the power strip. Um, and then I ran two speakers up there, and then drilled some holes up top. Sounds pretty good. And then let me go up front here. You can see I got an adjustable volume. Won't play it too long because I don't want to get copyright. But you can adjust the volume right there. And then uh, there's another decal I paid like I think that one was eight bucks or something. But you can send them any image and they will make it. And it's pretty good. It's a vinyl decal, it sticks. Again, that's buildassign.com. They're awesome. Really good website. Um, really happy with the overall product. Um, then I just picked up some uh, just stickers you can get at uh, Hobby Lobby or anywhere where they sell the uh, Marvel stickers but uh, I'll show you the other side too that's the other uh, poster I got and then the uh, the marquee I do want it to light up eventually but uh, for now I just made another sticker again at buildassign.com and I think that one was cheap too it was like five six bucks or something but again, you can send them any uh, any image, and they will print it on a decal. Um, and this is just going off a of budget. Now, for the bezel here, I did a, another poster, um, and it came out pretty good. All I did was just cut it around the bezel, and then put that Mod Podge again around the bezel, and... Uh, put it on there again you got to be quick you got to cut it just right and if you line it up to one side here if you line it up lay it down and then set it down and you'll get maybe one to two seconds to move it around before it actually adheres to the uh the plastic um but i think it turned out pretty good again five dollar poster walmart um so i know when you spend 300 bucks the last thing you want to do is keep pumping money into this thing. And uh, I just tried going the cheapest route for the uh, the side art. Because I didn't like, uh, you know, if it's going to be running a Raspberry Pi, I don't want it just saying Street Fighter 2. So, uh, yeah, this is what I did. Um, again, it turned out really good. Um, as you can see, I got rid of the, uh, the power and the volume settings because I don't need that. Uh, for one, the volume is adjustable right here. You can turn that up and down, um, which is nice too, because some games, their volume settings, they're different, louder, quieter. Um, so if that's the case, you can just turn that up to a, 
an acceptable level and go ahead and play your games rather than going into retro arc and messing with all the volume settings for each game you have. This is a lot easier and nicer. Um, there's one more thing. Um, when you put the backing on, um, you can see that I did cut a little corner out. So that way, when you put it in, I can reach in there and just turn it off with my finger right there. Nice and easy access. Um, I find that a lot easier than uh, adding a power switch, which I might do in the future. Um, but yeah, big shout out to ETA Prime, showing me uh, exactly how to get everything hooked up. And uh, again, there's a subwoofer with the uh, RCA Connects. And um, it was actually just an old um, computer setup I had on my old computer and I wasn't using it. So it turned out to work really good. And then the, uh, the speakers up top again, just turned out really good. I just Velcroed them in there, put Velcro up top. Uh, they're not going anywhere. Um, so again, that's my arcade one-up setup on a budget. Again, uh, build a sign dot com does all the artwork and the decals um, I did have to take everything off the buttons the joystick everything I took off I put the uh, decal over there and I had to cut out each circle um, which is nice because it turned out really good I think it turned out really good um, so go ahead and give me a thumbs up guys if you like the video I'm um, just trying to help everyone out um, get their cabinets modded to the way they like them um, without breaking the bank. So um, again, yeah, I want to get this marquee probably lit up. There's a rumor saying that the, they might start selling them, but uh, we won't know for sure until uh, that actually does happen. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Big shout out to ETA Prime for getting the internals set up for me. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.